Good morning everyone and uh, welcome to another fine edition of Outside and Stuff. We are here in the uh, Snoqualmie Pass at the PCT Trailhead and uh, today what are we going to be doing Jen? Today we're going to go explore Red Mountain. Red Mountain? Red Mountain. Whoa. It's red. I've read about this. Oh, have you now? Yes I have. <laughs> what are some stats on Red Mountain? <laughs> Uh, Red Mountain is um, a relatively small amount of elevation gain, anywhere from 7 to 11 miles round trip, depending... What's the elevation gain, other than relatively small? <laughs> Red Mountain is a relatively small amount of elevation gain for some of these peaks. It's only about 2,900 feet. Okay, 2,900. Uh, it's anywhere from 7 miles to 11 miles round trip, depending on which route you take. That's a great point. Uh, what route are we taking? So we are going to take the old Commonwealth Basin Trail, or okay. the Cascade Crest Trail. It's a turnoff just off the, uh, the PCT entrance yeah so we're here at the pct entrance uh as you can see the lot is rather full we got here around 8 30. um there are two lots so if this lot's full you can go up to the next one if that one's full you got to go down the road to like snow lake or something i don't even know but as jen said uh, we'll just be kicking off after this trailhead uh, other amenities here um there are uh, facilities uh, which does require a Northwest Forest Pass. And we just talked to a gentleman who said there's no paved place, so you have to bring a pass or maybe go park in the other lot. We don't know. Don't count us on that. But uh, I think we've rambled on enough. Are you ready to hit the trail? Yep, let's go. All right. Jen doesn't like talking when there's tons of people. <laughs> and murderous dogs. <laughs> Keep your dogs on a leash, people. Let's go. about three quarters of a mile into the hike. We've done a little bit of our climbing, about 500 feet of it so far, and we've been hearing this for a while. Now we're finally at Commonwealth Creek. Uh, we're gonna cross this and then follow the creek for a ways until we'll get to up to, there's a saddle, there's a pond, and then we'll start to turn off toward Red Mountain. Um, this trail's really nice for an unmaintained trail. It's uh, really easy to follow, pretty dry, um, lots of birds, pretty views. We're getting incredible views of, we've seen Guy Peak, you can just see Red Mountain off behind the trees. It's pretty cool. Thumbs up so far. Yeah, so far this trail, even though it's uh, unmaintained, is a pretty nice trail. And uh, even this crossing here is very nice. But uh, as Jen said, it's Commonwealth Creek. And uh, our destinations are up in them our hills. So uh, let's get on it. Pine siskins. Trail leads through there. Uh, you can either hop rocks up here, or this looks pretty well trafficked. What do you think? Either or. What do you want to do? I don't know. Flip a coin. I'm gonna take the narrow one, see how it goes.
These branches are not making it easy. All right. And then now I just gotta get past this. Nicely done, Jen. Just after the river crossing, there's a nice little camp spot here. Obviously access to water and a little fire pit. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it. Let's continue on. All right, we are here at the uh, trail connector, just over a mile and a quarter. Um, and if you're wanting to go to the catwalk, this is where you would take a right and then a left. But us, us people, we're going to Redzo. Redzo. So uh, we stay straight. So you know what? what? After we do red, then we're gonna have to do green mountain, and then we're gonna have to do blue mountain, and then we can have RGB all the colors that are important. In that spectrum. I'm kind of more of a CMYK guy. It's because he's a designer. There you go, that's Red Mountain. That's where we're headed. Ooh, slippery. That was easy. All right, so we've gone about two miles so far, and we've reached the point right here where the trail's gonna start going up. We've done about a thousand feet of gain. We have about a mile and a half to go and about 1,800 more feet that we have to climb. And about a thousand of that will be scramble, so it should be pretty cool, but we just gotta steal ourselves for this push because it's probably gonna hurt, just a bit. Yeah, temps are increasing, and uh, you might have thought I would have done this without a hat. You were wrong. The hat's back as much as everybody loves it. It's here to stay. What is that, Jen? What, that peak? Yeah. That's the Palmy Mountain. Awesome. And there's a little waterfall coming down.
pretty wildflowers. Oh yeah. Guy Peak. Some frosty big mountain. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Here we are. This is Red Mountain. And Boot Trail's gonna go up this way. Now, the trail does continue this way. Jen, where does that lead to? Uh, that continues, that wanders around past, uh, oh, there's somebody up there. It yeah. wanders around past London Peak. Um, there's a little pond just a short ways down. I'm not sure where it ends up. It just keeps going. Um, yeah, it's the old Maltz. Continues the old Cascade Crest Trail, so you just go as far as you want, I guess. Yeah, here we are, uh, just over two and a half miles and uh, almost 1,800 feet gain. We are at the uh, boot path, and that leaves us about 1,000 feet more gain and uh, roughly a mile. Uh, what? <coughs> Pardon me, I'm getting over a cold. Jen, <laughs> what kind of conditions are we looking at up there on the mountain? Uh, it looks dry. Dry? Okay, what about the trail? Exposed. To um, the elements or? To the elements. <laughs> it's, uh, well, so it's one of those, those trails that there is a lot of traffic, um, typical of a lot of peaks in the Snoqualmie area. There's a lot of really loose rock, so we'll have to be careful about that. Okay. Um, but all the trip reports and the, the guides that I've read say just stick to the spot where the there are the fewest loose rocks because that's probably where the boot path goes. So it'll wind in and out and we'll lose it and probably do some scrambling and regain it. Right. Which shouldn't be too hard to follow. No, we got a GPS too with the trail on it. So there's that. But uh, why don't you say we uh, put some sunscreen on and then uh, tackle this mofo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Jen, lead the way. <laughs> lead fearlessly, uh, something like that. This should be the only uh, portion of snow because I can see no snow on the mountain. <sighs> Love these little wildflowers. Yeah. Oh. Oh. me. Yeah. There's your pond, Jen. Yep. Which one that's what's that called? Red pond. Red pond. Very magic. Very magic. Loosey-goosey rocks. Careful for those below you so you don't kick something out and smash their head. Okay. Just keep going up. Stuff indeed. Uh, 
you almost prefer finding those climbing areas so you're not going through this. Yeah, we just keep heading up. We're at like 450 feet left, so we're halfway. So far, so good. All right, we've just come over a ridge, and uh, there's your Kendall Peak. You can see uh, the PCT cutting through, and then right on the other side of this is Kendall Catwalk. But uh, here's Red Mountain. Jen's already uh, cutting her way up. We're just gonna run this up, and then go over the top. Something like 400 or so to go. Just smearing up the cracks. Well, this is the edge. Gotta go over this. Jen, unless you want to scramble over, you might want to cut around. I'm going over top. It's pretty solid. of red. Huh. Oh, hi. Nicely done. That is ill. Ooh. Yeah. Thompson, I think. I think, I don't know. Get it, Jen, get it! Oh. In all colors. Uh, touch it. Touch it. Ooh. Ooh. Ta da! Yeah. Another one down. Woo! I said, oh, woo! I said, give me a woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, we're gonna check the stats, take a breath, and uh, report back to you. We did it. Getting over a pretty debilitating cold here. Um, took us two hours and 40 minutes around there. Probably get down a little bit faster if we weren't uh, half an hour <laughs> deathbed, but uh, 
we did uh, three miles to the T and uh, roughly 2,800 feet, so just as uh, the trail reports say. What did you think? Uh, it was good. It was a really good hike. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, the loose stuff coming up, Whoa, the, first loose part, stuff. the first part of the scramble, that wasn't so much fun. Um, but it's to be expected. It's really common in the peaks here. It was the same, the same kind of deal on high box and same yeah. quality, and so you get used to it. You suffer through it, but yeah, yeah, it was it was good. If you like a little adventure, oh yeah, the a view... little little rock, a little red, right? You should do it. And the views up here are amazing. Um, you couldn't stop staring at a Snoqualmie Peak over here, and then uh, what's that really big pink pointy one right over there? That is Mount Thompson. Mount Thompson. Yeah. Mount Thompson is. Ill. Uh, and then what's this big boy over here? That one right there? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I would have to consult the app. All right. Well, we'll take a look at that because you can see Glacier Peak right behind him. Yeah, you can see everything. Uh, this is this is the views here. This is phenomenal. Yeah. Right over on the other side of us is uh, Kendall Peak, and uh, oh yeah, right here in front of us, this is um, would you say is Lund Peak? Lunden. Lund 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 Peak. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but yeah, L U N D I N. Yeah, we can see a boot trail going up it, um, but uh, what would you say? You, you need some gear for this one? There is a boot trail and you do need gear. Um, there's probably a way to get up it without it, but you'd want to be a really confident climber. Yeah. Um, they've got a lot, there's a lot of rock steps. It gets really steep and exposed in places, and as I was reading, they actually have memorials um, near one of the most dangerous spots for Oof. all of the people who have fallen off while trying to climb there. So it's rough. That's a little intimidating. Yeah. But. This is one of those, so a lot of people will do, will link up this entire ridge, they'll do like Snoqualmie Guy and Red, London to Red, um, people will do Red Mountain to, to Kendall Peak, yeah. there are so many, because it's, there's not a ton of elevation, there are a lot of options for if you want to do a multiple peak day, you can. you can, you can do that. Yeah, we're a little under the weather, so we're not going to be doing a multiple peak day today, but uh, it's just nice again to like, look at like Chair Peak over here, Granite. Uh, we did Snoqualmie two years ago, we did Kendall two years ago, and uh, Red's been on our list for a while. So, uh, I'll probably just give you a old spin around, even though I've kind of shown you a lot already. Um, scale of one to five, what would you rate this? Uh, it's a good one. Three and a half? Three and a half. It's short, it's steep, it's sweet, and uh, if you don't mind uh, the scrambly scream. Yeah, I docked it. Red slide of death. I docked it half a point yeah. for the gross stuff. Theoretically, mm -hmm. um, if you read the Cascade Alpen Guide, mm -hmm. uh, there's, which you did this morning, which I did this morning with her eggs. There is <laughs> there is a route up that he calls it the Becky calls it the Snow Gully. Okay. Um, that's supposed to have really good solid rock and be a great class three. Now it is a Fred Becky class three, which means it's probably like rope up for ordinary people. Right. Yeah. Um, but that might be something worth checking out if you want to avoid all the loose, sketchy stuff. Right. Well, uh, there's a gentleman making his way up here, so uh, we don't have the peak all at ourselves anymore. But I'm going to spin you around real quick. Sound good? All right. All right. Where are we going to see him, Jen? I keep forgetting. At the next trailhead. Oh, that's right, the next trailhead. All right, guys. We'll see you there. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, we are facing south, and uh, down here is the Snoqualmie Ski Lodge. That's why it's all mowed. Uh, we came up from here. You can see a bit of the PCT. Now the PCT comes up, this is Kendall Peak, there's a boot trail and a scramble up that. But a lot of people come over here, and then again go on the other side of that for your Kendall catwalk. Now as we move around here, uh, you can see Stuart way back there, but uh, here is your Thompson. Jen, what's on the other side of Thompson? So this guy here is Big Snow Mountain, with uh, Glacier Peak just barely behind it. You're getting into your North Cascades, and here's your Linden that we were just talking about. You can see the boot trail up through here. Uh, here's the gentleman coming around the backside. And then the Linden hooks up into Snoqualmie. On the other side of Snoqualmie is your Chair Peak, with uh, McClellan, Butte, and Way in the background, your Granite Mountain. Here's your Guy Peak, and then now we're back to where we started.